social infection? Sounds like something to avoid. And it is. Rob got a little too friendly last year, but decided enough is enough. Dear Coob Face, can I still call you Coob? You've been a wonderful friend. I remember how we first met. Got a message from one of my old friends. Click here. Can't believe your face in this video or something. You know me. I love seeing myself on camera. Wait. Apparently I'm missing a required component. A video codec, I think it said. Well, I'm in this far, and I like video stuff, so let's get that sucker loaded. Oh, wow. I didn't realize what had happened right away, but I was bitten. Socially infected, if you will. Now, to be fair, you're not a one-friend kind of friend. Social infection has taken on a whole new meaning in the last year, thanks to this gratuitous link-sharing behavior, I've heard it called. Social networks are the place to be, and you, my friend, are the expert at making money at this stuff. Hats off to you, Coob. We know that video component you said I needed was actually an executable file. It kicked off a whole bunch of activities. Can I be honest? You had me at click here, but you weren't done, were you? Now, at first I thought you were just bragging. Got to check in, you said. I should have seen the signs. Command and control, a central feature of every budding botnet. Now, it turns out you were just casing my place, logging my social activities and sites, and well, I know I made it easy, all those cookies laying around. Fair enough. You were measuring windows and checking out the floor plan, making room for your tools. Very specific tools, it turns out. Now, I appreciate the effort, actually. No sense in hauling in tools you don't need. You could see what I was doing. Hey, now my friends are your friends, and convenient, too, since they think all these new messages from you are coming from me. <laughs> With no extra work on my part, you even helped me become a web server. I've never been a web server. Hey, now I get to act as proxy and provide relay services for all of our little coob face friends. In fact, and I love this one, I don't even have to break my own CAPTCHAs anymore. I never like those things. I mean, why prove I'm human if I have friends that will do it for me? What a great little service. And downright neighborly, too. But that's when things started to go wrong, Coob. Now, you know why. It was the money. <laughs> I was already impressed with your social media propagation parlor tricks, but you showed your true colors. You know, money is what ruins most relationships. Your modularity should have tipped me off. The, the fact that you could sell yourself on a pay-per-infection basis to those suspicious-looking friends of yours? Search hijackers ready and willing to lead my browsing preferences right to those worthless click fraud sites. Data stealers? What kind of friends are these? Nice try convincing me it was just a creative backup strategy. Uh, you know what? The final straw, though? Rogue antivirus installers. Uh, those guys are so old school. I can't even believe you're still hanging out with them. Click here to protect yourself. Uh, well, it does still pay, I guess. But you know, Coob, enough was enough. You are who you hang out with. And that is why I unfriended you.